Good morning, friends. <clears throat> it is the morning of Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving because I know you're watching this in the future. I would show my face right now, but I would seriously scare you. Um, it's a little after 6.30. It's the morning of Thanksgiving and I just finished making my timeline. This is what I'm making this year, the sausage cornbread stuffing, mac and cheese, candy yams, and the pound cake. I wanna be finished with everything by one o'clock. I know I will be though, because I have plenty of time um, to make and prep everything. I try to just, I just made this simple timeline for myself in order of how I want to do everything. And then I have my oven time here. I do have two ovens, but for my pound cake, I forgot to leave this out because it has to be room temperature to make. Well, they say that's the best way to make, and that's the way I've always made it is to make sure your eggs and your um, heavy cream or room temperature so and this is a flour that I use so I've got to um, wait until this is room temperature but I need a cold oven so I'm going to leave the bottom um, oven cool for my um, pound cake and then I'll make my sausage stuffing and my mac and cheese up here also I wanted to show you guys <clears throat> at Walmart I got these really cute Pioneer Woman casserole dishes. How beautiful are they? Aren't they cute? So pretty. So that's what I'm going to be making the um, mac and cheese and the sausage dressing in are these two really pretty ceramic casserole dishes. Because I'm not making a whole lot because it's just us and my parents and my sister so it's not we're not we're not making as much food as we usually do so um <clears throat> but these still hold a nice amount and this was only $19.99 for both of these um ceramic dishes so I'm gonna get started now last year I shared my recipe for the cornbread dressing and the pound cake yeah you can click this little eye right here to see me making those two things so this year I'll show you the mac and cheese and the candy yam so let's get to it quick check-in I got my cornbread all done my sausage brown my um, onion and celery all cooked up got my breadcrumbs done so my sausage stuffing, all I have to do is mix it at this point. Now I'm getting ready to shred my cheese for my mac and cheese um, and boil them. And yeah, we'll move forward from there. Also, I wanted to show you, here are my Pioneer Woman um, casserole dishes. Aren't they gorgeous? So pretty and fun. This one's the deepest. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there yet. Probably the stuffing. Um, and then I'll put the candy EMs in this one and then the mac and cheese in this one. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, this one is like Christmassy, but I just thought it, would, it was pretty to use for Thanksgiving and just something to always have because I really didn't have any casserole dishes. And like I said, these two together were only $16.99. That's cheap. And then this one by itself was $19.99. So, all right, let me get to shredding. This is my absolute favorite mac and cheese recipe. I got it off of Pinterest. I've been using it for a couple of years now. Make sure if you're not following me following me on Pinterest, make sure to follow me. The link will be down below, but I will have a link to this recipe also listed in the description box. Couple quick tips. I'm going to shred my cheese. I like to shred my cheese fresh um, because uh, to me it just tastes a lot better because the shredded, pre-shredded cheese is, tends to be dry to me. That's just my opinion. You do not have to do this for this recipe. But if you do, it's easier to just shred on like a baking dish like this. And then you can transfer it for the cheese as you're shredding to this bowl just to make it easier on yourself. And another tip, if you're, if you're like me and you're on your feet all morning or all day when you're cooking, just wear your sneakers. And what I do is I just put these shoe covers and I order these from... I order these from Amazon um, where it just covers your shoes and so that way you don't have to, if you're like me and you don't want to wear shoes in your house, you don't have to worry about it. But definitely wear shoes because it could really cause um, back and knee issues if you don't. Okay guys, sorry, I kind of forgot to film, but I um, boiled the macaroni and I just added all the cheese that I shredded, 
um, you know, two cups of sh um, sharp cheddar, two cups of Colby Jack, and eight ounces of Velveeta cheese. And I ha now have two cups of half and half in here. This is still hot. The, this is the same pot I boiled it in. I just drained it. And so I'm just mixing it all up. Mixing it all up, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper and I'm gonna taste it before I um, put my eggs in. Once it, I taste it and it's perfect, then I'll add my eggs, beaten, and then put it in the casserole dish. So I might add a little bit more cheese to this. Of course, I'm gonna add cheese to the sprinkled top of it too, because I don't like too much cheese in our mac and cheese, but I will show you as I'm going through the process. All right, guys, this is how you want it to look. It looks delicious. Now, for me, because I use I use this brand of elbow macaroni, I love it. Because you see those little ridges within the macaroni noodle? That really makes it so, that, that little change there, it really makes it eat up that cheese and little cheese will be, cheese particles will be in that those crevices. So this particular brand is very, um, absorbent of all the moisture. So for me, I had to add some extra. I had one cup of whipping cream left in here from the pound cake. So I just poured it in here and I added a little bit more cheese than she suggested. I still haven't added the eggs yet because it smells, it tastes perfect. Um, I used, I like to use white pepper for my um, macaroni because then you don't see the little black flecks. I don't know, that's just me, <laughs> psychotic. And then I use my pink Himalayan salt and it is really, really good. So I'm about to pour this in the dish, add my eggs, pour it in the dish and then sprinkle a little cheese on top and I'll show you what that looks like. So here we are, the finished product. I didn't want to sprinkle too much cheese on top because it is very cheesy. I'm praying this doesn't over bubble, okay? But we'll see, it looks beautiful though. So I'm gonna get ready to put this in. And my sausage stuff, sausage stuffing in. And I made my dad his own because he does not eat pork. And we are get, gonna get rolling on the candy yams. All right guys, this is what it looks like after about 30 minutes, looks really good. Um, it's not all the way quite done. My stuffing isn't all the way done. Let me pull this out. Bless you. My stuffing isn't all the way quite done yet, but the mac and cheese, I'm gonna let it stand there just for a few more minutes, but it looks absolutely perfect. Alrighty, macaroni and cheese is definitely done. And I'm gonna keep the dressings in there a little bit longer, because I like to get a little bit firm and crispy at the top. So let me take the macaroni and cheese out and I'll show you what it looks like. How beautiful is this mac and cheese, guys? This recipe is so good. And it fits absolutely perfectly in my Pioneer Woman casserole dish. So um, I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's brown, it's just perfect brown. So I'm just gonna let this cool sit here for a while and let it cool and then I'll wrap some foil on it and take it to my mom's. All right guys, so here's a quick tip. I'm using um, corn syrup, light corn syrup. And in order for it to not stick to your um, measuring cup, spray it with a little Pam so that it just comes out easily and it makes for a quick and easy cleanup. Um, I am making my candy yam stove top. This is my first time doing it this way. I love iHeart Recipes <laughs> channel and her recipes are typically really, really good. So I'm following her recipe. The link to her video will be down below. She puts whiskey in them. They look absolutely delicious. I couldn't resist. See, it's so easy to clean up. Um, so yeah, I'm following her recipes. I'm just gonna dump everything in here. I got butter, brown sugar, Zara, Ava. Sorry, obviously everybody's up. I got the my cut up sweet potatoes, butter, a stick of butter cut up, um, three fourths cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, and I just put a quarter cup of um, light corn syrup in so I think and now I just have to put my nutmeg and um, I think she puts ginger in there too and the whiskey and stuff and then once it's on once I put everything in I will show you guys me mixing it up and stuff here we are at the candy yams I'm just stirring every 10 minutes already formed a liquid at the bottom I hadn't put any liquid in here except for the whiskey the one ounce of whiskey that's in the corn syrup and the butter but Okay, so the stuffing is oh, okay, so the stuffing is all done. 
It looks really, really good. It's browned perfectly, and my dad's little peat a little bit is, is perfect. Like I said, I got mac and cheese out. Here's how much liquid is in this. So much sauce, it looks so good, guys. So I'm just continuing to stare, and they are starting to get tender. Not tender enough, though. So now I'm going to jump on this pound cake. All right, y'all. I got my pound cake in there. I have two because I don't have the big bump pan that I had last year. That's, that was actually my mom's pan. So I had like to make two like smaller ones, but it's fine, we'll make it work. At this point, I am exhausted. Everything's just about done. These are on simmer. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. They're fork tender. Yep, so these are just about done. And um, just gonna keep those on simmer, probably believe for another 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna give myself a 20 minute break. It's 11.40 right now, I'm exhausted. I've been on my feet now since 6.30, 7 o'clock. So I'm gonna give myself a 20 minute break. Then I'll get the girls ready, get myself ready, and then we'll go over to my mom's. Look at that beauty. Oh, it's beautiful. So obviously we made it to my mom's. It is three o'clock and I cannot wait to eat, I'm starving. Zara's actually napping and all my food is ready. It's just in the foil, we're just waiting for the turkey. Um, to get done. I just showed you that clip. It looked really good. So I'm gonna get ready to set all the food on the table We are going simple this year. Yeah, so I'm going to put the stuff on and then show you what it looks like Carving the turkey oh, It was so good guys love fried turkey My mom is the ultimate turkey carver. She um, said she learned from Martha Stewart how to properly carve a turkey. Good job. All right guys, so here's our spread for this year. We've got some Sister Schubert's rolls, my sausage stuffing, my dad's non-sausage stuffing, some greens, the turkey, the mac and cheese I showed you guys, my mom made um, cornbread casserole with like corn in it. My sister made this sweet potato souffle. My mom made potato salad, beets. Here's the turkey ham. And I gotta get more stuff, mom, for five to nine and two to four. The candied yams, okay, they look on. delicious. All right, guys, we're gonna eat macaroni. All right, guys, we just finished eating and I am stopped, okay? Um, how would you, how did you guys celebrate your Thanksgiving? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys had. I love hearing the different spreads that people like to eat. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and today's Black Friday and I hope you're being a conscious shopper for Black Friday. And so from my family to yours, Happy, Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving! <laughs> Bye guys! Make sure you hit the subscribe button up above and you can check out my previous video here. And you can also check me out on all my social media platforms. All listed down below. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.